So I wanna do this as a kind of experiment. About a week ago, I watched this video by Mark Lewis. After three years as a vegan, I'm making a change. I had a fairly negative reaction to it. I liked a lot of the video and I thought he was pretty funny. Something held me back from making a video. It seemed like maybe I was reacting emotionally to something he said. So I waited on it. And yeah, the experiment is just to watch it again and see if I have the same sort of reaction. It is Veganuary, that special time each year when companies try to sell you highly processed junk food, but don't worry, it's cruelty free, unless you feed it to your kids. <laughs> Okay, so I remember now the editing stuff popping up and the, the sound effects. It's just, it's just not for me. I don't know. Probably many of you who watch me regularly, it's not for you either. But that's what a lot of people like. And, you know, whoever he pays to edit, I'm sure they know what they're doing. And, uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's a huge turnoff for me. It's not cruel unless you feed it to your kids, feed them processed foods, makes kids obese. That's kind of the tone of the whole video. And it makes it hard to know whether he's being serious or not. I don't think he really thinks that feeding kids processed foods, vegan or otherwise, is cruel, but feeding them a diet focused on those foods to the point where they are obese or are running towards type 2 diabetes, yeah, it's kind of cruel. I would have to agree with him there. Plant-based campaigners saying don't worry about protein, bison and gorillas eat grass and do just fine, it's science. And then meat eaters retaliating with a picture of some bacon and then a comment, hmm, bacon, it's cutting edge debate. <laughs> There are a couple things in here that do make me laugh. He's got a, a rather dry sense of humor. He never laughs at himself, which I really do like as someone who is always laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> yeah, some vegans love to say that. Wow, gorillas, look, they, do they look like they don't get enough protein? Do you know how often and how much they eat in a day? They spend hours and hours and hours every day just eating and shitting. So then he says it's January, it's Veganuary, and he wasn't gonna make a video even though he's been vegan for three years, he just didn't have anything to say. And then something changed. I decided I would no longer be called vegan. But before Mr. Mm, bacon gets excited, I would not be changing anything else, still not eating meat. I just don't want to be called vegan anymore. So we've all heard this before, right? And typically it boils down to someone doesn't like the label, they don't like the reaction from others when they learn that this person is vegan and so they're no longer going to call themselves vegan. And to be clear, I don't care. I don't care what someone calls themselves. I don't care if they call themselves a carnivore, but actually they eat a vegan diet. The actions matter more than the label. And on the other side, I don't really care if someone calls themselves vegan, but they eat animal products on occasion. Now, what's the line there? I honestly don't know. I don't know what the line is. I think labels can be useful. I think defining ourselves in such a way can actually help us to maintain that label sometimes, right? It can have the opposite effect where we can feel boxed in and like we want to rebel. It depends on the person. So I have no problem with someone using that vegan label as maybe something to strive for, even though once a year or something they eat some, why can I not think of one? <laughs> No, I think it's the cow's milk ice cream or something. Or you can do what we used to do back in the raw days, right? You're 99% raw. It could be 99% vegan. I'm just happy that people are doing their best and trying to eat less animal products. I know what you're thinking. Yet another 50-year-old white heterosexual male telling us what he identifies as. We'll move with the times, people. But I thought it's not the white straight guys saying that they're the ones who are against the labels, right? It's like the non-binary they, them who are, right? Am I missing the joke? My wife became vegan because she thinks cows are cute. I said, I'll join you for a month because it will be good content for here. And after a month, realized I noticed almost no difference to anything. I then read a little bit on factory farming, thought, <laughs> There's bits to that that sound rather iffy, and so stayed vegan. It really is no more exciting than that. So because it's boring and because I don't care what anyone else eats, it doesn't get discussed here much. I don't understand being vegan, an ethical vegan, and saying I don't care what other people eat. I understand it in the sense that he's not going to go out of his way to tell people, hey, eating meat is unethical. I understand that, but I don't understand it in the sense that he, he really doesn't care. Like, how do you... How do you, how do you not care? How can you be vegan for the animals, for the environment, even just for health, if you are just eating a plant-based diet and not care what other people are doing, right? I mean, I don't know. I want 
other people to not eat animals. I want other people to care about the environment and what they're eating, the way their diet affects the environment. And I want people to care about their health as well and to get healthier. And that largely involves eating a lot more plants. But I certainly don't care that he's not like being an advocate and making his channel about veganism. I know there are some vegans who disagree with that. Direct Action Everywhere, they still have this on their website from 2015, why activism, not veganism, is the moral baseline. Now, I don't think many vegans agree with this. I remember a lot of vegans saying, what, what? No, I don't even believe veganism is the moral baseline. But uh, maybe that's a video for another day. I've been saying forever that I would make that video. Maybe it's time. You do not have to be an advocate. You do not have to be out there trying to get people to go vegan to be vegan or to be a good person. I mean, even defining what a good person is is virtually impossible. It's why I like to stay away from that sort of discussion. I prefer to talk about the actions themselves. And yes, vegan advocacy is a good thing to do. That doesn't mean everyone has to do it to be good. And I would argue keeping his channel the way it is, is probably more beneficial. We have a lot of vegan advocacy channels, like my channel that is focused on veganism. His channel gets a lot more traction because it's not. Looking at him, you would not expect him to be vegan. I mean, let's be real, he is not the stereotype. And being vegan and just being like, yeah, I'm vegan, suck a dick. And still talking about it occasionally, I think is really powerful and probably really effective. I'm reasonably healthy, perform okay, and have a decent degree of fitness, which I had when I ate meat, and I have, now I don't. As I said, it's a bit boring. This is kind of funny given the video I just did about Paige Shea, the Freely 2.0 on TikTok. She was skinny and clearly in good health before, and she's still skinny and good health now. She just has more muscle because she lifts weights, and she tries to portray that as the diet, like doing all this work for her. Whereas he is, I won't say honest, I'm not saying she's lying. I think that's how she views things. He's more grounded in reality. And I'm not saying some people don't have amazing results going from a meat-centered diet to a plant-centered diet. Some people were really unhealthy before because they were eating too many calories, too much meat, all of that, and they really do revitalize themselves and become a much healthier person by switching to a plant-based diet or to a vegan lifestyle. But if you were healthy before, you're, you're probably going to be healthy after. You're probably not going to see a whole lot of difference. So yeah, I really appreciate vegans just saying, yeah, I saw no difference. <laughs> I was healthy then and I'm healthy now. Nobody goes vegan for their health. Veganism is a philosophy that rejects the idea of animals as commodities where possible. Anyone saying yes and I do that for my health is going to need to explain why not buying a leather jacket, which a vegan would not buy, is a healthier option. What those people typically mean is that they are eating like a vegan or plant-based. You could do that, and if you believe those studies that I can't be bothered to read, you might even conclude it was good for your health. But you could also do that and kick cats at the weekend. You wouldn't therefore be vegan. That's how I roll. That's not the best part. It's the part before where he says, now this is happening, and then kicks the dog. But yeah, he's absolutely right. Vegan is a philosophy. Diet is a big part of that because diet is the main area where we exploit animals, right? We eat food three times a day or more, and many of us eat animals or animal byproducts every single time we eat. But obviously, it's not just diet. We have leather jackets. We have carmine in our red, not eyeliner, eyeshadow. I've been vegan for 15 years, guys. Brain fog is real. Or maybe it's having three children all under the age of eight. That's the funny thing. I wish it were something diet related. I wish my horrible memory was something diet related. I eat well and I take my DHA and I eat my ALA and all of that. My dad has just a horrible, horrible memory. And my partner, who's been vegan longer than I, has a fantastic memory. My seven-year-old literally makes fun of me for not remembering things. This is not okay. Like it or not, the word vegan brings with it more than I care for. Already, there'll be people watching this video on the plant-based side, angry that I'm not presenting arguments as to why people should eat like me. I know that's the case because they email me and tell me. Equally, the correspondence I receive from the other side often goes beyond pictures of sausages. People have genuinely told me I am due to fall seriously ill at any moment as a result of what I eat, and I'll have nothing left beyond distant memories of duck pond podiums. And of course, it's not just me. I was also told that Jenna would get frail and weak and then when she got fit and strong, I was told actually what they meant was she would get, and I was literally told this, fat 
and all her hair would fall out. Why are they so obsessed with the hair? Inherently scary, I guess, when we think of someone who's really sick, their hair's fallen out, their teeth's fallen out. When did I button this? Was I just fidgeting and buttoning my jacket? What do you call this? Sweater? Flannel? While I was recording? That's very odd. In all seriousness, there have been anecdotes of people on a vegan diet and having issues with hair loss and then changing their diet, you know, supplementing with zinc protein or whatever and seeing improvements. So it certainly is possible that there are certain deficiencies when people aren't eating a vegan diet correctly that can lead to hair loss. Yeah, the idea that you're going to go vegan and you're gonna lose your hair, or after years, after years and years of vegan, you're gonna lose your hair. I mean, there are people who tell me that I'm losing my hair. You can go back and watch my videos from 10 plus years ago, 14 years ago. It's the same, it's the same hairline. I have more gray. Yes, that is true. The anti-vegans are really obsessed with looks. Uh, I did a video not too long ago on the vegan face. It's pretty funny. As somebody who's eaten a lot of little sheep, no one is going vegan because you called them a murderer. And I mean, how, how do you how do you know that, right? And this is coming from someone who is really against demonizing meat eaters. I think largely that is ineffective going by the studies we have on advocacy, not just vegan advocacy in general, trying to change people's lifestyles, their habits. Generally, a softer approach seems to be more effective. But to say that no one changes their mind when they hear like meat is murder or they're called a murderer, I don't think that's true. I think there are weird people out there who find that effective or just really chill people who go, oh, hmm, why, why would you think that? I'm gonna go Google it. And then they're like, oh shit, you're right. Guess I'm vegan now. I'm sure that's happened at least once. Okay, so now he's going to get into why exactly he is no longer calling himself vegan, but instead calling himself fussy. And then I had a meal out over Christmas with a few friends. First off, they debated for an annoyingly long time as to where we should or shouldn't eat. That conversation began with them suggesting that my dietary requirements would complicate matters. I assured them I was quite capable of eating a bowl of chips anywhere, so please just pick somewhere. When we finally sat down in a restaurant, I ordered a starter, a main, and two porn star martinis on special offer. It took me about 20 seconds. I then waited and waited while they all argued over which sharing platter they would like best and then boring the waitress stupid with requests for alterations to the meals written on the menu. When they finally had their orders placed, they turned to me, I was already halfway through one of my martinis, and said, so, still vegan, that must be inconvenient. And I gave up. I gave up identifying as a vegan. I simply replied, no, actually I'm not. I am now just fussy. They told me I could use whatever word I liked, dress it up how I wanted, but ultimately the way I ate would cause me ill health and declining fitness. Enjoy your two tight t-shirts while you can, they said. They then chatted amongst themselves about their type two diabetes, heart attack scares, and the annoying lack of seatbelt extenders on EasyJet flights. So this is what I'm kind of talking about. Like, is this true or is this just a fun little anecdote to get his point across? I, I just find it hard to believe that he would be friends with people like that who would just say, oh, you're unhealthy. And I don't know, he just comes across as really confident and not really willing to put up with people's shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Not not willing to put up with like friends like that. The way I ate would cause me ill health and declining fitness. Concluding that he's just going to call himself fussy. Again, like he seems like not the type of person who would do that. He seems like he really doesn't care what people think. But again, I don't care. I don't care what people call themselves. I've had people message me, usually people with the type of personality you would expect, right? They, they're anti-confrontation and maybe a little bit socially awkward and they don't want to call themselves vegan because they don't want to be in a sort of awkward conversation with someone or they don't want to be grilled. And I totally understand that. And I, I don't want people to feel like going vegan has to be something beyond changing what you eat, what you wear, that you have to be thinking about advocacy at every single moment or at all. There are plenty of vegans who just live their lives and they've been vegan as long as I have longer and they're just as vegan as I am. And in case anybody wants to suggest, no, you are a vegan, you just are, no, I'm not. I've decided that one day I will live in the countryside and there I will consider purchasing some chickens to live happy lives in my garden and I'll eat their eggs. Also, should I find myself invited on the Joe Rogan podcast and offered some elk steak? 
I'd find it hard to say no. I'm not entirely sure what it would do to my digestive system after this long, but I'll take that gamble. So in the first case, you guys know me, I agree with that. I don't see any issue with raising chickens and taking care of them and eating their eggs. I do not think they care. And if they do, fucking weird chickens. Ask them what they're gonna do with them. As far as eating elk steak, I'm not really sure what his point is there, just that it was offered to him and so he's gonna eat it or that it was killed humanely, it was, it was hunted and killed. I have a video on hunting and I think that is not true at all, just from a how the animal is killed perspective, that it's painless or something. No. And even if it were truly painless, it could be guaranteed to be painless 100% of the time, I still don't think it would be ethical because these animals want to live. I think taking that from them is morally wrong. Is it as bad as factory farming? No, it's not even close. I, I don't think anyone would argue that point. And to be frank, if the only examples of exploitation left in the world were just a few people hunting some animals, I would not be doing what I'm doing now. Like it, it would not be a big enough issue in the world, I think, to focus advocacy on. So I'm really glad I did this actually, because I did not at all have the same reaction watching that the second time. I think the first time I watched it, all I took away from it was, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why I had such a negative reaction the first time. Maybe it just came across as insincere, like the whole story. It's a little bit silly. Um, I don't know why that would kind of make me angry? I don't know. But overall, I think it's a really good video. Again, I love just kind of normal quote unquote people going vegan and just being like, yeah, it's it's the right thing to do. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to eat animals and milk and cheese and eggs. Like, it's great. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I would love to know your thoughts on the vegan label and calling yourself fussy or something else, right? Not wanting to use the word. I know some of you do that. So I would love to know your thoughts on Mark's video. And before I go, I want to say that I'm having a sale on all of my merch, my merchandise, my mug and my totes and my shirts because I forgot to do it for Christmas. I usually do it for the I think the entire month of December or starting with Black Friday. I don't do like a Black Friday thing because I just I don't like it, right? I do a long time to give you plenty of time to use the code, but I totally forgot last year. So I'm going to do it now. I guess it'll be a Valentine's Day thing. So yeah, you can get 10% off of anything, anything in my little unnatural vegan store. I'll have the code here on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much to my patrons and my members here on YouTube. I do post two exclusive videos for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog one and then I do a controversial topic. I have done 13 of those now. I started this last year in January and I just posted this January, January 2024. It's about blippy. So, you know, you never know. You never know what you're going to get. That's kind of the fun of it, I think, maybe. Anyway, thanks again, guys. New video soon.